Okay, so I saw this, and this is their entry protocols for the underground resistance, which again we talked about earlier. Now, this is both hilarious and sad. First off, the website that we're going to for this is 2012portal.blogspot.com. Now, one, if you don't care enough about your idea to register a domain name for $14.99 a year through GoDaddy, it's probably not that important to you, really. Secondly, if you're talking about the planet being libertated now, and these are all this is all recent stuff. If you're talking about the planet being libertated, libertated, liberated now, and you're t- any day now, the Pleiadians are going to show up, and we're going to need you to fight the dark ones, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Why is your website called 2012? That's six years ago. And here's the thing: if they had bought a domain name and they had linked it to this, I never would have known. But th- this is what they're calling themselves: 2012. Ridiculous. The Ascension Pass, dude, you got left behind like the rest of us. So, apparently a a dream has gone out to the people. This dream has gone out to people who are not yet in the resistance of light, but are being called up. It's their destiny. You're a loser in your real life. You got nothing going on. Don't worry, because there's a super secret fantasy war coming up, and you too can be a part of it. If only you follow us. Then you'll know your true mission in life and everyone who was ever mean to you. Oh, they'll be like, you know what, Jason? Jason was the hero. He's the one who fought those space ghosts in the Battle of Hood River. Because he had that dream and he followed the entry protocols. This is this is the this is what they sell to Golova people. Anyways, so this is here it goes. If you if you are selected for pre-event entry into the resistance, the entry protocols are as follows. Step one: you will be physically contacted by a resistance agent very near to the place where you live. <laughs> so I mean, I, he will he or she will be wearing plain civilian clothes and will emanate very positive energy. He she will introduce herself himself. Okay, that's going to get annoying. Uh, He will introduce himself to you and ask you if you are willing to enter the resistance. It will be explained to you after entering the the resistance, you will not be able to have any physical contact with the surface population. So let's, let's unpack that for a second. You're walking down the street. Somebody walks up to you in normal clothing who just seems to be really happy and they're going to say, Hi, I'm Jason. Would you like to join the resistance? And your answer, if yes, you disappear. You will no longer have physical contact with the surface population. If you say yes, you basically go missing and become a missing person. That is step one. Step two clarifies that because it says, you will be given between 5 and 15 minutes to collect your personal items to bring with you. You will be asked to bring objects of personal emotional value, wedding rings... Why would you have more than one wedding ring? Uh, photos of loved ones, etc. Because all other objects, clothing, food, gold, cash, ID documents, can be easily reproduced with replicators. You will be given a small bag, and all your items will need to fit in that bag. Size and weight requirements will be very similar to requirements astronauts have had for their personal items on a space shuttle. Now, what's funny is that then they imp- include a link to how much weight a astronaut can carry on a space shuttle. So, again, people buy into this nonsense, and I'm sure people reading this started carrying around photos of their loved ones and their wedding rings, plural, and they're like, well, this is what I'll take with me, because this is what... Who clicked on the link to find out how much an astronaut can carry? And why? A space shuttle? Why Do we even have space shuttles anymore? I think they got rid of them. Anyways... Why 5 to 15 minutes? What if I'm not by my house? It says it'll be near the location I live, but what if I'm in the middle of Eaton Subway? And this guy comes in and says, are you ready to join the resistance? And I'm like, yeah, sure, but I'm only like two inches into this foot-long sub, and I can't finish this in 15 minutes. And I got a pocket full of wedding rings. I got like eight of them, because I own a pawn shop. Anyways, step three. The resistance agent will escort you to the entry point (laughs) into the resistance, This will usually be a service door in the cellar or a basement inside a commercial building close to home. They're going to murder you. They're telling you, follow me, no one will ever see you again. Just walk into the basement, please. 
Then it says, uh, there, there he, and it's weird because then they dropped the whole he, she thing about halfway through this because even they were like, got tired of it. There he will, uh, there he will guide you to descend a set of stairs that will lead you 30 meters or yards. Uh, it's, it says both underground to the topmost level of resistance. The stairs will look somewhat like this. And it's just a picture of a manhole disappearing into the darkness. It's like a creepy ladder. And I'm like, I, Hey, man, I'm totally on board with fighting the Dark Ones. I also hate non-physical entities coming into our plane. But I'm not crawling down that. I'm not crawling down that. So, but they want you to. So you go down there and it says step four. When you reach the resistance level, you will approach a high-tech door that will lead into a structure that looks somewhat like a shower cabin. And then they have a picture from a video game. To show you what the resistance is going to look like. It's it's from a video game. So I crawl. I meet a stranger that I've never met before. Dressed like a normal person. Asks me if I wanted to join the resistance. Gives me five minutes. Can't talk to anybody. He takes me to the basement. Has me crawl into the sewers. And get into a shower cabin. Now it's stereotypical to say. You can't make this up. But this is, this, this is what these people legit believe. Because we're going to get to the comments soon. You think I'm just, you know, taking the piss out of this website. The comments are heartbreaking. At this point, the agent will ask you the last time if you're willing to enter the resistance. If you refuse, you will be brought back up to the surface and never be contacted again. I mean, you, dude, you ask me that before I climb 30 meters down a ladder. Like it just or before I go into your crazy murder basement. If you accept, the agent will leave will leave you alone and you will enter through the high-tech door by yourself. You will be asked to take off all your clothes. <laughs> Wait a second. If, he's, if I'm by myself, who's asking me to take off my clothes? It's just like a voice in the dark. Take off your clothes. It's a voice in the dark sewer while I'm standing in the shower cabin. You'll be asked to take off all your clothes and leave the bag with your personal belongings in a special tray. Then you will be asked to enter the shower cabin where you will be disinfected from all nanotechnologies. All nanotechnology and from most viruses and bacteria. Why not all those too? Why not all the viruses? Question five, you'll exit the shower cabin on the other side. You'll exit from the other side of the shower cabin into the resistance proper, refreshed and disinfected. At this point, you will feel much better with bursts of inner joy and will feel very alive and full of energy. You'll get a new set of clothing. Let's see if there's anything else here. Um, a doctor shows up. They'll give a, they'll cure you of any possible diseases. You'll be given your own room and there's like a detox, detox process and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so there, now you know how to get into the resistance. Um, step nine, last step is um, after you accept it, after you are accepted in the resistance, you will not be able to go to the surface, contact the surface population, or even use the surface internet slash cell phone network, except in extremely rare cases that will be directly related to your mission. You will only be able to make direct contact with surface human population after the event. Victory to the light! So, here's the thing. Again, I'm reading this. This is nonsense. I think it's a money-making scam. You're listening to this. I'm hoping that you're on the same page. Or at least you just think it's gullible or made up. And I, I, I obviously it's made up. But there are so many people whose lives are so empty to them. And they feel so directionless and meaningless to them that they buy into this. They buy into it hook, line, and sinker. And that's one thing I've seen in the conspiracy theory world. I've, it comes across all the time. People have dedicated their lives to fighting the Illuminati. And, and they, they feel like that is their goal. That's why they were put on this earth. Because otherwise, they have to realize they're just an accountant. Or they're just a teacher. Or they're just some unemployed kid. You know, they're stuck in a bad marriage, whatever it is, whatever it is, these things give people meaning and purpose. And it's the one thing that everyone is lacking or thinks they're lacking in life, is that direction. So instead of just being a nobody who everyone just walks past, because everyone wants to be someone, everybody wants to be famous. It's that, um, I like that song by, uh, who's that band? How can I not remember them? They're like one of my favorite bands. Big time rush, big time rush. You want to be famous. But anyway, so that's besides the point. So, you know, people don't want to be nobody. They want to be somebody. And not everyone has the skills, the talent, the drive to become somebody or the luck 
to become, quote unquote, somebody big. So they buy into this nonsense. Now, again, you're thinking, OK, that's all nonsense. Here, let's look at some of the some of the comments here on this. OK, here's a couple of the first ones. I am ready to be part of the resistance. I would gladly give my life to make the event happen quicker. The event is the coming war between the Dark Ones and the Pleiadians and the Garthians and these lunatics. Um, here's another one. Assuming if I was selected, I would join the resistance movement if my mom was financially taken care of during my mission. She can't make it on her own without me financially because she is elderly. That's sad. Here's this guy who believes this, like, but what's holding him back? He's like, but, you know, if I join the resistance and I fight for the world and I fight for the resistance of light, who's going to take care of my elderly mom? I'm the only one supporting her. That's his dilemma. Absolutely terrible. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available on YouTube or anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.